From Victoria to the Comox Valley, our Butis RV Island Adventures brings you thrilling, breathtaking wonders of exploration across Vancouver Island. Brought to you by Arbutus RV. Online at arbutusrv.ca. Just getting there is part of today's adventure as we travel west of Qualicum on Horn Lake Road, beneath the cocoon of the canopy and through the dappled light. And the light at the end of this tunnel, one of the most natural attractions on Vancouver Island. Welcome to Horn Lake Caves Provincial Park. It's uh, yeah, a wonderful place to come learn something about some underground geology and uh, how the caves were formed and, and really why does Vancouver Island have 1,500 plus caves on it. These caves are the results of hundreds of thousands of years of slightly acidic water wearing away the relatively soft bedrock of the area. An ecosystem, although made up of rock, surprisingly fragile and precious and an extensive subterranean library of information. A lot of people think it's just a dark environment when really we find that there's uh, so much more to it. First, they're underground rivers. So there's water, water quality, all kinds of things that we need to do to protect the environment just from its water perspective. But also there's fossil records in the walls and even what looks like a pile of dirt is actually sediments that have been pushed there from going back to the, between the ice ages. And uh, so you can get pollen data and climate data and, you know, uh, bones. We, they found a, a thigh bone of a, of a black bear and one of a mountain goat in Vancouver Island caves. So, I mean, that really tells us a lot about what was going on. And it, they're kind of a sealed, preserved, natural laboratory. Give it a try, but still. Armed with a safety briefing and equipped with hard hats and headlamps, our trek begins. We wind our way up the switchbacks in the splendor of the second growth forest, keeping our eyes open for signs of caves. Lots of history to it. It just happens to dissolve in water, so caves from all around the world are formed inside it. You said it? What is it? Limestone. This is limestone. This is the last daylight we're going to see because we're going to go subterranean. With each carefully placed step approaching the opening of the cave, nervous anticipation sets in as a whole new world is about to unfold. Okay, this is it, the door's closed and we're going down. And I have to say, I'm a little scared and I would be happy to bail right now, but I'm gonna you know, keep on going down and down and down until we can get out. But apparently it's worth it, so I'm gonna trust that it's worth it. Here we go. Who knew that deep inside a cave, the air is sweet and pure, and it's like being on the inside of a giant mystical jewelry box with the amazing ancient rock formations. This is dried up this time of year, so you can really see the crystal structure reflecting that light back at you in a really beautiful, sparkly way. So just a month ago, there was water flowing over this and it looked way different. You picked a good time to come and see it in all its sparkly glory. It's an experience unlike any other to be below the ground and seeing these worlds of of interesting rocks and formations and little pathways and once again we turn the lights out and, and we're in complete darkness and uh, yeah and we even saw a plant a little green plant laying in there totally amazing highly recommend it From Victoria to the Comox Valley, our Butis RV Island Adventures brings you thrilling, breathtaking wonders of exploration across Vancouver Island. Brought to you by Arbutus RV. Online at arbutusrv.ca.